Now we all know that WWE can be a very petty corporation because they are a direct reflection of their leader, of their head mf -er in charge, Vince McMahon, who we know can be incredibly petty. You're going to say, a lot of you won't because you have sense, but for those that maybe don't or aren't understanding what I mean, and you can even take a look at the talent contracts. You saw some of the talent contract verbiage where they started to you know, let some of these people that have worked elsewhere bring their name with them. But while you're working for WWE, they own your name and everything. That's petty. That's absolutely petty. Piping in crowd noise. You know, or dubbing over booze to put in cheers because you don't like the way the fans react, even though you say you love the way the fans react. That's petty type crap right there. Catching wind of your talents doing third party platform stuff such as Twitch and Cameo and so forth. And instead of trying to work out some type of thing to say, hey, if you're going to do that, that's fine. Let us get a cut of that if you're going to use your WWE owned intellectual property name, likeness, etc., catchphrases, gimmick, you name it. They sat there and said, nope, bullshit. You're going to have to do that on our channel. That's just, again, petty shit because it's all about control and all this other crap. So WWE has a very long documented history of being petty. There's petty, though, and there's dry snitching. Now, you believe some of the reports, and I absolutely do, because it sounds like and looks like there were even some receipts here. WWE, you've got Vince McMahon on the one hand in his quarter two earnings call talking about how he doesn't consider AEW real competition at this point. They certainly aren't competition to the level of WCW, which, by the way, isn't a, isn't a false statement. He's absolutely right. Let's be clear. At this moment, AEW is absolutely not in WW, WCW stratosphere. Absolutely not that level of competition for WWE. They just aren't. But you can't sit there and be so dismissive. Then on the back end, you've got your minions sitting there trying to go out to mainstream journalists, trying to get them to talk shit and write about what happened this past week on Dynamite with Nick Gage and that dumb dick ass pizza cutter spot running picture in picture as the Domino's ad was being run which pissed off Domino's, a major sponsor for Warner, Warner Media and TNT. Like, what in the dry snitching fuck is that? For those of you that don't get dry snitching, an example I could give you. Somebody throws a, a wad of paper at somebody and hits them in the head. And they just kind of shrug it off. It's whatever. Then five minutes later, little Karen over here is like, hey, hey, teacher, I just wanted to let you know that five minutes ago, little JJ threw some paper at little Susan's head. That's dry snitching. Telling others that this secret or telling others shit they didn't need to know that they shouldn't have told them, but they felt so karen that they fucking did it anyways. That's basically what the hell they did here. Sit there and say, oh, they're not really competition. But then you're being so petty and so pathetic that you're trying to dry snitch on them to mainstream media outlets so that way they could write an article giving negative coverage to AEW. Is that what the hell we're on here? Instead of worrying about the failings of your own on-screen product, instead of figuring out ways to grow and improve your business, instead of doing the things that real quality companies should be doing, which is first and foremost being the best versions of themselves F the competition because you should be playing the long-term game. You should be playing the infinite game because that's the place you want to be. But sometimes by playing the infinite game and worrying about where you're going to be three, five, ten years from now, you can snuff out, dominate, eliminate the competition. But if you think back to the Monday Night Wars era, the attitude era, if you will, WCW, WWF, that was a finite game. That was two players that were both basically trying to work to put each other out of business. I mean, that's the reality of it. And it happened. 
WWF won. And the wrestling business lost for 20 years and running now. And that company certainly lost. Because once the finite game ended and there was a clearly defined winner and loser, then what the fuck do you do? This gives me similar type of vibes here. Like at this point, frankly, from a WWE standpoint, AEW is not even in the same business. They're a professional wrestling company. And WWE, for decades, Vince McMahon for decades, has done everything he can to come up with pathetic spin on why his company, that is totally a professional wrestling company, is not a professional wrestling company. If you're ashamed of the business that you're actually in, then that is a freaking problem. But you have spent all of these years and decades talking about how you're in the movie making business and in the sports entertainment business. It might be in a similar genre, but you're not even playing the same game here. So why the hell do you feel the need, other than pure pettiness, pure jealousy, pure manipulative bullshit reasons to sit there and dry snitch on AEW. Like that's weak as hell. I'm not trying to sit here and fanboy or stand for AEW by any means. Because I'm certainly not as big on them as a lot of others are. But I will always try to bring truth to light on bullshit when I see it, no matter where it comes from, no matter who does it. And this is unmitigated fundamental, rudimentary bullshit. Like, why would you do that? Why even bother to open yourself up to criticism for yourself? Why even open yourself up to the potential of having AEW or somebody else reply in kind? You know, WWE, over recent years, you've taken enough public, public relations hits Doing this type of crap is another one of those public relations hits that you don't really need because you really got to be careful playing this game. If you start dry snitching like this and you start generating even more controversy, it can backfire on your ass. Because you saw like Paps Blue River was tweeting afterwards talking about they went out on the action. You start sitting there and putting attention and shining a bigger light on it, it's going to get... A situation where more people are going to be like, I didn't even know what the fuck AEW was. I didn't even know they existed. What the hell is an AEW? Since WWE doesn't like them and I hate WWE, but I still like wrestling, let me go check them out. Don't think there's people out there that are like that? Give me a damn break. I, I go back over 30 years ago to the freaking suburban mom that sat there and complained about married with children and talked about, um, you know, how it was... Uh, not appropriate for children, how it was immoral television, like a whole bunch of crap. And basically, like if you go back in time, talking about the Fox television network, not Fox News or anything else, but actually the Fox television network in the late 80s where a lot of people even had challenges trying to find it on their freaking dial. Yeah, we're going way back here. It was that controversy generated, I think it was in season three, with Married with Children, that took it and as a byproduct, that channel to a whole nother level. Like people incorrectly think to this day that it was the Simpsons that made the Fox network what it was. No, <laughs> it was married with children before it was the Simpsons. I promise you. And it was because this lady sat there and complained about the episode and the things that were happening on the show. It brought more attention to it. It brought more controversy. And to borrow the old, tired, played out, but absolutely true Eric Bischoff line, oftentimes controversy creates cash. You get more attention. Humans are like freaking flies to a freaking bug zapper. Controversy, controversy. We're drawn to it. We're drawn to negativity. We're attracted to it. By doing something like this, you are potentially creating a byproduct that you aren't intending to create. You're potentially getting more attention on AEW and making them the baby face in this case, which is a position you don't really want to be in. Like that's just petty and dumb. Stay in your fucking lane. These are the evil type of manipulative corporate tricks that corporations do when they're grasping for straws or they're in trouble. 
You're already making record profits. Why in the fuck would you care what AEW is doing right now? It's stupid. Now, I hope coming out of all of this and WWE's attempts at dry snitching, reportedly, allegedly, certainly, believably, that Tony Khan, the EVPs, AEW, ignore it. Stay in your lane. Let it go. Let it go. Don't get hooked. Don't respond. Don't react. Don't be snowflake about it. Let it go. Let WWE and their leadership freak out about the fact that you don't respond. Let WWE and their leadership be distracted by shit that doesn't, shouldn't matter to them, but clearly does. Be focused on you, your product, your brand, what you're doing to play the infinite game, to make AEW a viable, sustainable, national, international, mainstream wrestling company for the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years. You're not even really in the same business, which is why it made no fucking sense to me for WWE to be trying to do this. Because if anything, they're just associating themselves with the thing that they try to pretend that they're not, even though they absolutely are. So if they're going right, you go left. If they're going to play this petty game, you take the high ground. Ignore them. Let your bots and your sheep-ass fans lash out and so forth. And all your butt buddies in, in the wrestling journalism circles, honestly, like, let's be real. I mean, you got a ton of them. Wash your hands of it and be fucking done with it. Ignore it. Let it go. Because it's not worth it. Do not waste any of your energies, any of your time on any petty back and forth BS. Let WWE look like the a-holes here. Let them be the heels. Let them be the ones that are dry snitching like a bunch of punk asses. And let's be clear, it was absolutely, totally, and completely a punk ass move. And most importantly of all, a dumb ass move in my opinion, because by WWE going out there and trying to sit there and get mainstream media to talk about this, that means that they're propping up AEW to a level that realistically they aren't at. But if WWE is going to treat them as such, then you might as well say they fucking are. Like with this type of action, whether it's true or not, and there's a fine line between worried and petty. And we're not talking about the Vince McMahon of old. We're talking about old Vince McMahon here. This feels more petty than like truly worried, but it does feel kind of petty and jealous. He wants to be petty because he wants to undercut him. He's jealous of the fact that if they did that shit on WWE, he know that would be splattered all over the damn place. But now you're basically trying to get it splattered all over the place with AEW, which absolutely could be a bad thing, could absolutely backfire, and meanwhile, does more to establish them, in my humble opinion, as a mainstream U.S. and international wrestling company than anything that AEW has done since October of 2019. This is like when you've got a country that finally gets acknowledged by other countries for their sovereignty, or the U.N. acknowledges them. Like, that's the single biggest thing that you could do to legitimize a country, is have them be recognized and have their sovereignty recognized and respected on an international stage. In this particular case, it's like you're saying it's worth your time to go to mainstream media to try and complain about it, to try and get them to cover it, is you saying that they are mainstream. Nothing AEW has done since October of 2019. Even with some of the ratings that they've done, some of the pay-per-view guys they've done, etc. Blah, 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 blah. Nothing establishes them as more mainstream than the fact that Vince McMahon and his company thought it was worth dry snitching to mainstream media about them because they were mad that this wasn't getting mainstream coverage. Be careful what you wish for, Vince and WWE, because you just might get it, and that dry snitching is going to bite you in the fucking ass like it should.